What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, and I'm continuing the uh, Steven Crowder stuff. Because I think there's something to be said about the Steven Crowder situation. Now, I did a video yesterday breaking down the video. I pointed out where it has edits, where it has jump cuts. And for those of you who don't know, it was this video. I pointed out where the jump cuts were, where the fact that it starts in a weird spot, the fact that it even says, hey, there's audio recording on one of these videos of Steven Crowder saying something very heinous, very, very awful, totally legit. It exists. It's supposed to happen sometime after the video. You can hear it on the audio, but it's not in the video. But it totally exists. And the fact, this is a two-year-old video. Steven Crowder is going through a ma messy divorce. It's becoming public, not by Steven Crowder's position. Okay, it wasn't Crowder who made this public. It was everybody else that made it public. You need to remember that. Crowder didn't go out there and say, I'm going through a divorce first. Started with Candace Owens and all the other little rumor mill people. And he came out and said, yes, I'm going through a divorce. I just didn't pick them well. Okay, it's not something nice to say, but it's a messy divorce. Emotions are high. Divorces aren't fun. Why am I saying this? Why am I mentioning this? Because everybody's so quick to take a side. Yes, I have stated I like Crowder. I, I am a fan of Crowder. I keep that no, not a secret. I don't hide the fact that I like Crowder. Doesn't mean that if I think Crowder is doing something wrong, and if I think Crowder is actually the bad guy here, I'll say it. I put it out on the video yesterday that, hey, there's things going on there I didn't like. Even if I agree with some of his points, I didn't like some of the, the things he was saying, and I didn't like how he was handling it. I don't think he's being abusive. I think it's a mi middle of a single argument from two years ago that we don't have the full context for. Why am I saying all this? Because so many people are so eager to dunk on Crowder, to call him this, to call him that, to call him an abuser, to call him an awful human being. And you, you know what? You're free to do that, but it's not right. So many people were so quick to jump on Johnny Depp. Oh, he's an abuser. He's a he's a bad person. A.H. is a victim. What happened? Turns out it was the other way around. So many people were quick to jump on uh, the guy from... I just had it. Rick and Morty. I always forget the guy's name. So many people were willing to jump on that and say, Oh my God, he's a monster. He's a vic... He's a awful human being. Fire him from his job. Guess what? Not true. You need to take a step back, even if you don't like some of the things Crowder has done, and realize that this is one step at a time. My video yesterday was pointing out that this is was pointing out what the video actually is. Pointing out what happens in the video, what it is, what's going on. I wasn't taking it aside. Personally, though, I don't like what Crowder is doing. I think this is a ploy from Hillary Crowder's camp. To try to take custody of the kids. You have to take into account that Hillary is from Michigan. Same with parts of Crowder. But now Crowder and Hillary are living in Texas. Crowder is based out of Texas now. His whole family's in Texas. Except for his grandma who lives in Michigan. Hillary's whole family lives in Michigan. I think this is a ploy to get custody of the kids. And to get Hillary to move back to Michigan. But again. Tomorrow something could come out. My position. My because I'm being as objective as I can, taking it one step at a time, I could think tomorrow, Crowder is an awful human being and actually did it. Because I'm not quick to jump on this wagon, I'm taking it slowly and steadily and looking at every side of this angle. Again, I'm, I'm making this point for a reason, because we just had a reveal from Crowder's side. And yeah, people are dunking on Crowder saying all sorts of stupid stuff again. But Crowder put out a statement and I'll have I'll let you guys hear it. 
I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look, court ordered agree upon. He just said, I didn't pick him well. Simple enough. He did. He messed up. He didn't pick. He, it happens. Everybody's wanting to dunk on him and say, oh my God, why did you say this? You're, it's the wife of your kids. I've heard people say so much worth, worse about the wife of their kids. So much worse. I've heard people say and do things that are ridiculous. I don't see anything awful here. When it comes to the court order, that is in place for a reason. So that they don't go out and cause problems. Hillary's camp, okay, I have to say Hillary's camp, has been pushing out the stuff to smear Steven Crowder. There's apparently text messages that were leaked that I have not seen yet. I might do a stream breaking this all down. I might try to get some of the Ballbusters guys on. We'll do a quick stream and we'll break this down maybe tomorrow. If not, on Skidamax. You need to take this one step at a time because there's a reason Crowder hasn't been speaking about it. The court order. He's not allowed to. He said what he had to say and everybody dogpiled on him. He can't extrapolate more. He's not allowed to. If he, if he does, he could get in trouble. And you know, you get this little wussy over here. I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to paint your wife as mentally ill and you're just the victim again. Okay, dunk on him all you want. He's going through a messy divorce. But let's continue. Broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. How yeah. He's never claimed ever otherwise. He's never claimed he was perfect. He's never claimed he was a on a perfect individual. He's flawed. We're all flawed. We've said stupid things, done stupid things. It's as simple as that. Take it one step at a time. However, due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without. Due to m misleading edited leaks, man. Uh, you, don't worry about the video right now, but my point, my point to this video, God, I don't. No thanks. Re refresh. We'll we'll get that to pull back up. Why is that line so important? It goes to my last video. This is in the middle of an argument or towards the tail end of an argument that has obviously been going on for a little while. Edited. There are jump cuts in the video. And the audio that they claim is so awful isn't even in the video, and this is a two-year-old video from a ring camera. So yes, these are edited. They Everything that's coming out against Crowder right now is specifically created to make Crowder as the bad guy because Crowder hasn't been involved. He's not allowed to be involved. These are things to take into account. You don't have to agree with some of the things Crowder has said. Even he's saying here, he said some mean things. He said some awful things. You take it one moment at a time. Out context and not subject to consequences of the court. Well oh, yeah. Yeah. Funny. Funny. If he says too much about what's going on, he can get in trouble. Her. Giving her this video to her family and her family giving it to somebody else. Doesn't bring repercussions onto her. None of this is going on to her. Take this into account when you're looking at all this stuff. Who's putting it out? What side are they on? What's going on? What video is this? Who's putting it out? Th these are things to take into account. That's why you can't just say, Steven Crowder's innocent. Steven Crowder's abuse. Because it's nuanced. These you, jumping to a conclusion can make have you have egg on your face. I have a position right now. Guess what, though? Because I'm taking it one step at a time, I can change my position. I don't see abuse here right now. Well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. 
So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. Do I like that this is getting publicized? No. Do I like that I'm getting views off of Steven Crowder? Not really. Why am I talking about it, though? Because this is a good microcosm of why taking one step at a time is good. You can't hit your bandwagon immediately to something without the full context. We're not going to get full context, probably. It ain't going to be pretty. It ain't going to be nice. I'm probably going to see some things where I'm going to come on here and I'm going to call Steven Crowder probably some names. I'm going to say some things that I don't like. Heck, I might end up not watching him anymore. But I ain't siding right away. I'm watching it play out and I'm playing it all for you guys so you can make up your own mind. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm putting these videos out. Because I think it is a good example of the realities of this stuff. Of the realities of why you don't immediately hop on a bandwagon. Why you don't immediately side with somebody. A lot of people sided with AH right away. A lot of people said AH could do no wrong. Guess what? AH was the abuser in that situation. A lot of people said the... The awful man, the man from, uh, I just said it a little bit ago, Rick and Morty. God, what was his name? Was a monster, was vile, did awful things. All of it was fake. A lot of people are saying, well, these are apples and oranges comparison. No, what I'm doing here is saying one moment, one step, innocent until proven guilty. This divorce has gotten very, very ugly. And it ain't going to be fun. People are going to see a side of Steven that's not nice. People are going to see a side of his wife that probably shouldn't be out there. Steven didn't start this, but he's not going to let go. This isn't the thing Steven would do. And also Candace Owens is to blame. A lot of the conservative people are to get complain. Everybody's involved at this point because everybody's made a statement. Let's just sit back and watch and let the pieces fall where they may. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time you ha I put out a new video and go live. You don't have to like what I have to say. You don't have to agree with me. But just know I'm giving you my honest take. So take care.